<laughs> Praise the Lord. Right to knock here, a.k.a. Brother Evelyn Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 1, and we'll be looking at verses 18 to 19. And it reads, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. Give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we turn our Bibles to uh, Exodus chapter 12, and we see where Jehovah God approaches Moses and gives him instructions um, in regards to the Passover and tell them to to pick a, a certain type of lamb and uh, a certain month and age. And, and in verse 5 of Exodus chapter 12, Jehovah God tells Moses, Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And so Moses is instructed by Jehovah God to take a lamb that's about a year old that uh, has no blemish, uh, no uh, physical abnormalities, no um, visual or visible um, defect. And th this speaks of this uh, this blemish speaks of of, of sin, of outward sin, transgression, if you will, because you can find a lamb that um, is free of blemish when they're pretty young, but as they get older, they're going to have spots, and spots speaks of um, iniquity, uh, inward sin, you know, so you, God is instructing Moses to get them when pretty young, where they won't have any spot, not because of you know anything that they're doing. It's just that um, biology will take over, and then they'll have spots. But you could find some that don't have any blemishes, nothing, any outward uh, um, physical defects. Again, that speaks of this outward blemish. Speaks of transgression, sins, and spots. Speaks of inward sins, iniquities. And so pick out uh, a lamb, whether it be out of the sheep, out of the goats, that have no outward blemish, no visible defects. And so, and, and again, this, this lamb is, is pointing, that's without blemish, is pointing to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because it's a, it's a figure. It's an image. It's a type. It's a shadow pointing to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, then, when the Apostle Peter, when referring to now our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as we saw in First Peter chapter one, where now he's not talking about the the Lamb that was a figure, an image, a type, a shadow, that the best that you could get was just a Lamb without blemish, because it, it would it would have no blemish because you're getting a year. Or under old, but later on that same lamb, you know, when it lives out life, it's going to have a spot. But now the apostle Peter is referring to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not the figure, not the image, not the type, not the shadow, but the substance of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And notice what um, the apostle Peter speaks of regarding to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in verse 19 of First Peter chapter one. He says. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish, no outward sins, and without spot, no inward sin. You see, th this, this lamb, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it, it ain't going to have no outward blemish. And it's never going to have an inward spot, an inward iniquity. Because this is the lamb without blemish and without spot. This is the substance. You know, when the Apostle Peter was speaking about the lamb without blemish and without spot, he says later in the same epistle, in 1 Peter chapter 
2 verse 22 where he says and he did no sin and he was and he was and no and no God was found in his mouth the apostle John in 1st John chapter 3 verse 5 when referring to the lamb without blemish and without spot he said in 1st John chapter 3 verse 5 where he said that and we know that he was manifest to, to take away our sins and in him was no sin we know that the apostle paul in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 when regarding to our lord and savior jesus christ as the lamb without blemish and without spot where he says in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 and he who knew no sin became sin so that we be made the righteous of god by faith and the hebrew writer in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, and as a matter of fact, this is Hebrew writer, out of all the New Testament um, writers, he wrote the most about the blood of Jesus Christ. He says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, and we have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities and was tempted at all points, such as we, but yet was without sin. So the lamb that was without blemish, without spot. He knew no sin, he did no sin, in him was no sin, and he was without sin. And that's the substance, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, and, and that's the precious, and that's coming, that land, when he shed his blood, that was the precious blood of Jesus Christ, because it was without blemish and without spot. You know, the Hebrew writer, again, that spoke so much about the, this blood of Jesus Christ, a lamb without blemish, without spot, where he says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12, where he says, neither by the blood of goats, nor neither by the blood of calves, but by his own blood, he entered into the holy place once, and he obtained eternal redemption for us. This, he, 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 uh, he with the blood, that precious blood, from the lamb without blemish and without spot he entered into the holy place once and obtained eternal redemption for us did it once and he and obtained eternal redemption for us and then the hebrew writer again speaking about the blood of jesus christ where he says in hebrews chapter 12 verse 24 and jesus christ the mediator of the new covenant the blood of the sprinkling, speaking better things than of Abel. This is a blood that speaks better things than of Abel. Where in Revelation chapter 6, verse 10, when talking of the, 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 the people crying out, Avenge, O Lord, our, our, our death. Avenge us, O, o, o Lord, our death. That's what the, 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 the blood of man that's been shed. But Jesus, when he speaking better things than of Abel, he was, his blood, uh, uh, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, that blood, it spoke of forgiveness. It spoke of mercy. It spoke of the love of God. It spoke of uh, reconciling man to God. It spoke of protection. It spoke of peace. It spoke of provision. It spoke of eternal life. It spoke better things. You know, in Acts chapter 7, it records when a great man of God um, Stephen was preaching to a, a, a crazed mob and, and, and they, they, they picked up stones and, and they, they hurled it at him and, 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 and they, when, while they were hurling at him he, and, and it was hitting off the, those stones and these bricks were, were, were hitting off his head he, the, the first thing that this great man of God said was Lord I receive my spirit and then the last thing that he said as this murderous mob of, of, of crazed or religious leaders were throwing stones at him. The last thing that Stephen said, this great man of God was, uh, Lord, lay not this sin on their charge. But remember, the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things because when Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross, the first thing that he said was, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. But the last thing that Jesus said on the cross was, Father, into your hands do I commit my spirit because it speaks better things. And, and, and this is the blood 
of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus Christ from the land that is without blemish and without spots. And when that great prophet, uh, John the Baptist, when he was baptizing the, 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 the people in the Jordan rivers, and then when he looked up to the hills and saw our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the great man of God, John the Baptist, said in John chapter 1, verse 29, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And that is from the Lamb that is without blemish, the Lamb without spot. And when he shed his blood, that blood took away the sins of the whole world. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you forth in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. God bless. God bless.